Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving this equation x squared plus x over x plus 1 quantity squared is equal to 1. Now if you just go ahead and uh, expand this, you're going to be getting a quartic equation x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Obviously, you don't want to solve this equation. I mean, who remembers the quartic formula? We don't even remember the cubic. So we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do this problem differently. So here we go. Let's get started. Okay. So I'm going to call the x over x plus 1 y. So I'm going to use substitution here in an interesting way. And when I do that, you're going to notice something interesting happening. Okay, if I call this expression y here, then I'm going to be getting xy plus y is equal to x. So from here, uh, I'll be getting one of these equations. And obviously, I can just go ahead and do the following. Uh, you know, I can just go ahead and subtract y from both sides, and this is going to give me x minus y being equal to xy. This is one of the things that I'm getting. This is one of my equations. And the other equation is going to come from the fact that we use substitution, and it's going to look like this. x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Because we named this whole thing y, we're going to be getting a system of equations like this one. Okay? Pretty interesting, right? Now, what are we going to do from here? Well, now we have a system of equations in two variables. So let's go ahead and write the second equation like this. x minus y quantity squared plus 2xy is going to equal 1. And we know that x minus y is equal to xy. Right? Okay, awesome. So if you go ahead and substitute here, let's say we call this u. Both of them are going to equal u in this case. So now I can replace x minus y with u. That's going to give me u squared plus 2u, okay, is equal to 1. If you add 1 to both sides, as you know, we're going to be getting the u plus 1 quantity squared from here equals 2. And we're going to be getting two solutions from here. u plus 1 is going to equal plus minus root 2, which means that u is going to equal negative 1 plus minus root 2. Awesome. Now, what the, what's the significance of u here? Well, you can actually go ahead and do the following. If we know that x minus y is equal to u and xy is equal to u, we can actually solve this as a system as well, right? Let's go ahead and do that first. So I'm going to replace x with y plus u and substitute that into the second equation. Let's go ahead and do that. y times x, which is y plus u, is equal to u. Then I'm going to go ahead and expand this. y squared plus uy minus u is equal to 0. By using the quadratic formula, I'm actually able to solve this equation in terms of u. Let's go ahead and do that. Negative u plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is going to be 4u in this case. And that divided by 2a. Okay? Now, what was u? We know the value of u here. So we can just go ahead and substitute that and we're going to be getting the value of y. What is the value of x? Well, x is just equal to y plus u. We're just going to add u to this, which is there. So let me got, just go ahead and take one of these. Let's say I got the positive 1. So for u equals negative 1 plus root 2, or I can write it as root 2 minus 1. Let's go ahead and calculate this. u squared is going to be uh, this squared plus this squared minus 2ab. That's going to give me 3 minus 2 root u. And then 4u is going to be 4 times that, 4 root 2 minus 4. If I go ahead and add those up, I'm going to be getting negative 1 plus 2 root 2, right? Or 2 root 2 minus 1, right? That's going to be square rooted. And along with the u, it's going to look like this, root 2 minus 1. So I'm writing the y value here. Root 2 minus 1 plus minus the square root of this, which is 2 root 2 minus 1 all over 2. Okay, this is going to be the y value. And if the x value is just going to be, if uh, you remember, in our substitution formula, we said that x equals y plus u. So x is just going to be y plus u, which is given by this value. So by adding this value, I'm going to be finding the x value from there as well. Thank you for watching. I wanted to keep this video very short, but I hope you got the idea. Please comment, like, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.